than 24 years, a Utah woman says she was horribly abused by her polygamous husband. Now she's working to help others escaping polygamy and re-enter society. Well, any assistance will help. As ABC4's Andrew Reese reports, life after an abusive polygamous relationship really is an uphill battle. Nicole's kitchen. I love to cook everything. Is her safe space. Carrots. Where's my carrots? I do it a lot of times just for therapy. It's where this former sister wife turned personal chef breaks the cycle of decades of abuse. He was going to kill me. She lived in Eagle Mountain until about two years ago with her polygamist husband. I had 15 children in 19 years, 13 living. You're not supposed to do that. She was part of the Apostolic United Brethren, a polygamist sect. She says her husband shamed her, beat her, and strangled her. He asked me to cut my throat as a blood atonement in front of my children to say that was the only way I could repent from texting this other man and be forgiven and disembowel myself. And he said that in front of my children. He wanted you to kill yourself in front of your children. To repent. And that was the only way I could come and be forgiven and be with him in the celestial kingdom. She left his home with only one of her 15 children, hoping one day she'll be able to get all of them out. Are you worried for their safety? Absolutely, I am. I can't even call him on the phone. Even though bigamy is a felony in Utah, Nicole says her husband got temporary custody because she was broke and in rehab for alcohol abuse. She had nothing when she escaped. So many women leave but they don't have the financial help, and so they end up going back. And every time you go back, you're more shamed, you're more punished, you're more mentally impacted. There's now proposed legislation on Utah's Capitol Hill that would allow psychologically damaged victims of polygamy and bigamy to seek reparations. Under House Bill 214, bigamy-related crimes make victims eligible for mental, financial, and medical assistance from the state. And Nicole, Someone has to do it. Is on the front lines fighting for the bill to pass, hoping to help others escape one life. It is the hardest thing you'll ever do. And whip up a brand new one. You get a chance to live again and find out who you are. In Park City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News. Now, the Utah Office for Victims of Crime currently does provide assistance grants to many people escaping abusive situations. This bill would add bigamy abuse victims to that list. Now, for more information on resources that are available, you can go to abc4.com and click on this story.